This next tune we're going to look at is called If I Needed You by Towns Van Zandt. And it's a great one for uh, opening up a wedding, uh, making people weep. And the second or third date. Don't really want to do this one the first, first time. Believe you me. Believe you me. All right, I'm going to run through the whole tune, and we're going to break down each section. Here we go. Three, four... <laughs> part of this song is the intro. So let's look at that first. What I'm going to do with my left hand, uh, by the way I'm capoed on the fifth fret, is I'm going to grab just the bass of a G chord. And I start off and this first measure of the intro is my typical strumming, uh, sorry, picking pattern for the whole piece. And what I'm doing in that first measure is thumb, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one. So I'm alternating the bass from the E and the D string and my first and second finger are planted on the G and B string. So again, first measure, three, four is thumb, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch my E and my B string at the same time, and I'm going to hammer on my first finger to the B string. Okay, so after that, I'm going to alternate the bass, thumb, two, Thumb, one, thumb. That's the second measure. Third measure, I'm going to stay on this G chord, and I'm going to grip the bass with my thumb, then I'm going to pinch both the D and the G at the same time. Pinch, middle, then thumb, two, thumb, one. And Two, I, I mean the second finger, and when I do that, I'm going to grab the first fret on the B string with my left hand. Here's that third measure. Three, four. 
Now what I do in my left hand is I grab the three on the B string as compared to capo and I pinch my E and my B at the same time. Then thumb one, then back to first finger in left hand, thumb two, thumb two. Okay, so those are kind of tricky. Here's the whole first four bars of that intro, real slow. Three, four. Okay, now my next four measures, let's look at those. I'm going to start with the same chord and I'm going to grip thumb then pinch the D and G again with my thumb and first and second finger. Thumb, pinch, two. My first finger on my left hand is going back to this first fret and I'm going to roll thumb, two, thumb, one. So here's that measure, three, four, My third finger on my left is going to go back to the third fret, pinch, then thumb one, then thumb two, thumb one, with the open B string. This puts me into my C chord next, and I'm just going to grab, starting out, the bass, and I'm going to go thumb on the A, thumb on the G, then I'm going to hammer on zero to two on the D string use my thumb in my right hand, then thumb two. So that's... Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to grab my D over F sharp, like this, and I'm going to do the same pattern we've been doing in that very first measure. Thumb, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one. Now for that very last note, I'm going to lift up my middle finger to get a, the open G. Let's try this next four measures really slow. One, two, three, four. In the very last measure, I'm going to go back to my G shape and I'm going to pinch the, the E and the B string. Then thumb one, then thumb, pull off, off the one on the B string. So that second half is, mm -hmm. so I'm going to thumb, pull off, alternate first fingers. Kind of tricky. Here's that last measure a bunch of times. Three, four. real hard to get that pull off and the alternate bass happening at the same time. As you pull off and you reach the open on the B string, your thumb also has to be on the D string at the same time. Alright, here's the whole intro real slow. Three, four... sounds great. Let's look at the verse and, or, sorry, the chorus and the verse, which are the same progression. Now, as far as my right hand finger picking pattern, I'm going to do the same thing throughout the whole tune, and that's thumb, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one. So my G, I'm starting with my thumb on the E string, then alternating the bass to the D string, then first finger, then thumb two, thumb one. On my C chord, I do the same thing, only my thumb starts on the A string, otherwise there's no difference. And my D over F sharp, we're not going to use a D chord, we're going to use a D over F sharp, and it looks like this. This is how I grab it. There's other ways too, but the way that I do it is my first finger goes on the second fret E string, my middle finger goes on the 2nd fret G string, and my ring goes on the 3rd fret B string. 
And my picking pattern is the same as the G chord, thumb, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one. Some people grab that D over F sharp by grabbing a D just normally and wrapping their thumb over. That works too if that's easier for you. As far as the chorus and the verse go, all I'm doing is I'm I'm doing the same progression over and over. So I've got G, one measure, two measures, three measures, four measures, five, then C, D over F sharp, two measures of G, two. And then I repeat, four measures of G, two, three, four, and one more, five, to C, F sharp and two a G. So that's the same for the chorus and the verse. After the first verse, I'm going to go right back into that intro. And I'm going to add one measure of G or more if you want in order to regroup to get into that last verse. And when I do the intro, I'm going to repeat it twice. The first time, I don't put an extra bar of G to buffer at the end, only on the second one to get back into that singing verse. Then I have another chorus, so we already know how to do that. At the end of the chorus, I'm going to tack on a little ending, and I'm going to do one measure of G to C to D over F sharp, back to G. And just let it hang out. Okay. That's If I Needed You by Towns Van Zandt.